Los Angeles International Airport. Just the thought of it can strike a chord of fear in the heart of a weary traveler. Too much traffic. Too many people. Just too much confusion. Luckily, there is an alternative. If you fly between Los Angeles and New York, MGM Grand Air is a radically different approach to airline travel. You'll breathe a sigh of relief when you pull up to the curbside check-in area. From this point, you're a mere five minutes from the total comfort in the Imperial Terminal. The customer looks upon our service as if it were their own private corporate jet. Uh, and as such, uh, in, enjoys and expects uh, the stress-free, hassle-free environment, the pressures associated with the main terminal uh, are eliminated. Once inside, you'll feel more like you're at home in your living room than waiting for a plane. The airline has spent a great deal of money to set up a completely stress-free environment. You won't find surroundings like these in the airport's main building. Every effort has been made to make you as comfortable as possible, right down to your morning orange juice or coffee. For the business traveler, conference rooms add convenience and can save a great deal of time. But as they say, you ain't seen nothing yet. Our airplane is a 727-100 uh, that normally carries between 100 and 110 passengers in standard airline configuration. And we have 33 first class seats. First class is the only class on MGM Grand Air. The plane's forward compartment consists of only nine luxurious seats. You're sitting next to no one. And no smoking, please. The center section is comprised of four more single seats, a lounge area, and a stand-up bar. As you move closer to the rear of the plane, you get the feeling that you could actually be on a luxury train. The private staterooms include all the comforts of home, from plush, easy chairs, to a state-of-the-art audio video system to amuse you during your trip. In addition, these compartments can be sealed off to form quiet meeting or sleeping areas, as the seats also make into queen-size beds on demand. Try finding that in any average airline. Luxury has even found its way into the onboard restroom, right down to the monogrammed bar of soap. And all of this for about the cost of a typical first-class ticket. Think about that the next time you're sitting in a standard airline seat with your knees in your nose. When it comes to paying for first-class air travel, this is definitely what service should be.